Welcome to Computing at Home Digital Schoolhouse. Here we're delivering out-of-the-box computing activities that are accessible, educational and fun. To all learners watching, remember you can pause the video at any time to take notes, collect your thoughts or take part in the activity alongside me. Parents and guardians, you might want to watch the next bit as it explains how to access our resources, but after that feel free to join in or sit nearby to supervise if you want to. Let's get started. For origami algorithms, you'll need some origami paper or just some normal paper cut into squares. And you'll need a copy of our worksheet. The worksheet can either be completed digitally or you can print it off and fill it in yourself. The link for this is below the video. If you'd prefer to access our resources via our website, go to digitalschoolhouse.org.uk. Click on resources. Scroll down the page and find Playful Computing Activities, click on Activity Resources, click on Discover More. In the list, find Origami Algorithms. And here you'll find the file. Alternatively, click on the magnifying glass Type in origami, click on search, and you'll find the link is the second item in your search results. Feel free to pause the video now and collect your resources together. So what are we going to learn by completing this activity? Well, this activity links to all five of the computational thinking skills, algorithmic thinking, decomposition, abstraction, generalisation and evaluation. Don't worry if you've not heard of those words before. I'll explain more after the activity. For this activity, you're going to need your origami paper because I'm going to be giving you the instructions to create a four pointed star and you're going to follow them just by me giving them verbally. Let's get started. To make these creases exactly in thirds, you may have to measure. Now fold in half diagonally, both ways, and open. Fold along creases shown to points shown and open. Do the same creases, but in the other direction. Fold the left third inward. Using the creases shown, Pull the corner from the point down to the other point shown and flatten. Again, using the creases as shown, move this point to the other point and flatten. Again, using the creases shown, move this point to the other point and flatten. Move only the inside flat outside to the point shown. Fold this corner down a long crease shown. Finished four point star. So hopefully your star looks something like mine. There you go, that's my, my finished star. Um, it probably doesn't and I wouldn't really expect it to. So what I would do now is follow the instructions from the worksheet and actually create the, the four point star from the instructions. Now you've had a go at doing that, you should also have a go at doing the next item in the origami instructions, which is to create yourself one of these um, fir trees. So follow instructions to create a fir tree. And now you've done that, do the final one to create yourself a penguin. Now you've completed all three origami models, you now need to go back to the worksheets and have a go at filling in the questions. So the idea of this activity is to get you to think about what kind of instructions are most suited to this type of task. So think about, when I gave you the verbal instructions without any images, they really weren't possible to follow at all. Think about this, evaluate it and get some answers down into the worksheet. Let's have a look at what we've learnt. 
We've learned about algorithmic thinking because we've realised that instructions need to be really clear and precise if we're going to be able to follow them to create an origami model. There's some decomposition going on because each of the instructions are a way of breaking down the problem so you can follow the instructions and create the model. There's some abstraction going on because I'm pretty sure that no penguin that I've ever seen looks quite like the one that I've made, but yet I still know it's a penguin. So the unnecessary detail has been taken out while it still has the unique things that make it a penguin included. There's some generalisation going on if you've done any origami previously because you'll be following some instructions and having some idea of what to do. Finally, there's some evaluation, which is all about the information that you filled in on the sheet because you've thought about what kind of instructions work best for doing origami. If you've enjoyed this activity, here are some ideas for how you could take it further. Why not try giving someone else the instructions for making one of the origami models? Maybe you'll do a better job than me. Or you could have a look online for more origami ideas. There's lots of different instructions out there. Or even try programming a drawing in Scratch using the pen extension. Thank you for taking part. I hope you had fun and learnt something new. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please email dsh at uki.org.uk. Now we'd love to see you learning computing at home with Digital Schoolhouse. Parents and guardians, please feel free to share any images or videos on Twitter or Facebook using the hashtag computing at home. You can find our contact information in the section below or at the end of this video. Finally, I wanted to say a huge well done for taking part today. I'm Estelle and I look forward to seeing you next time.